I'm Rob Argent. I'm a chartered physiotherapist, but I'm also a PhD researcher here in UCD um, in association with the Beacon Hospital. In the US, there's over uh, a million hip and knee replacements every year. The surgeon would always say that they, they do half the job and the physio and the rehab afterwards is the other half of the, of the process. We're trying to harness the, the wearable sensor, which is really, really popular in the fitness sector like Fitbit and uh, other devices such as that, but trying to use that in a, in a manner that's more for healthcare and that is user-friendly for our, for our target audience. So we're using a single sensor, similar to that that sits in your smartphone and knows whether the phone is that way up or, or, or landscape, and we're able to then pair that with an, with an app on a tablet and um, track how much you're doing your exercises. We can tell you how much you're doing them, whether you're doing them right or whether you're doing them wrong, and we can capture other data about your rehabilitation in a, in a much more effective manner than, than previously. At the moment, I may only get that data every two weeks when I see my physiotherapist, whereas now we can capture that two, three times a day um, in a much more meaningful manner and present that back to the patient, but also back to the clinician in the hospital as well. Once it's connected, it's going to ask me for my, my pain, first of all. So this gives us a nice metric that we can plot over time. And it will then ask me my mood as well. And then what we have is we have an ability to watch the video beforehand. So I'm able to, to check my exercise to make sure that I know which one I'm doing and how to do it correctly. And that will play through there. So when I'm ready to begin, the picture of the avatar comes up on the screen. And as I exercise, the person on the screen is mirroring that and it'll count the number of repetitions that I do in the green circle there. And this is me doing the exercise correctly, where I'm able to get my knee fully straightened and I'm bending it back underneath me. And if I press finish, it'll tell me that I've done the exercise correctly. On the other hand, for example, if I wasn't quite able to, for whatever reason, particularly if I'm not quite strong enough, and I'm only able to get a little bit um, towards straightening, and I take the knee down, it will still count the exercises. If I then press finish there, it'll tell me that I haven't quite done my exercise correctly and I'm not yet straightening the knee fully, which I want to be able to do to get the most out of the exercise. This is a project that's been going on over 10 years of research uh, here in Insight in, in UCD. I came on board as part of my PhD to uh, further the development and then the testing of the technology. I spend a significant amount of my time in the Beacon Hospital um, where we have access to patients um, and we're able to gather their opinions and test out um, any iterations that we make to the design with the end user. So what we're looking to achieve is, is further investment so that we can create a more professional prototype of, of what we have at the moment. Feedback's been really, really positive from patients. They, they, they perceive that there's some value in, in what we're trying to achieve. Um, they've also highlighted things that we can do to make it even better. But um, the key thing has been that we keep it very, very simple and very easy to use. I have one lady who is an 80-year-old lady who's never had a smartphone or anything before and she learned how to use it and was delighted that she could use it and didn't really want to give it back at the end of the two weeks. So it's a really positive um, experience that the patients are saying, well, it's making me do my exercises more and it's giving me some motivation because I know that either whether someone's watching or whether I can see the progress for myself, it gives them that added incentive to, to do their exercises. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. If we think about the US alone, there'll be over five million operations of this type by 2030. So there's, there's huge scope, and this is our, our early test bed. But what we want to do is expand that into all sorts of clinical contexts, um, be that uh, breast cancer, which a colleague of mine is working on at the moment, or other kind of musculoskeletal injuries, not just the hip and the knee. Um, and in time, what we'd like to be able to do is offer an extensive library of exercises which a wearable sensor can detect and can provide uh, feedback to the user on. Long term, what we'd like to do is replace that sensor with the patient's own mobile phone so that no equipment is required outside of what they already have in their home. I really feel with research that unless we're doing something that's going to make a difference, then it's not worth doing. So I was very much determined to make sure that we can implement this into clinical practice very, very easily rather than it being an academic exercise. 